Are we there yet? Straight from glaciers road to the sun, limestone tinting mountain pools turquoise, snow capping its peaks in July. The drive to North Dakota features a 10 hour study in high plains grass, the color of jaundice, sky endless sheets of white smoke, five miles of train cargo cars, a relief from the unnerving blankness of big sky country. Even a gas station glamorous with a place to pee, nutty buddies, 10 types of beef jerky, beside a stack of t-shirts promising that if we lack deep love for the red, white, and blue, the wearer would happily pack our suitcase for us. When we arrive at Theodore Roosevelt National Forest, acres of colorless prairie dog villages dust the ground, whack-a-mole pups popping up and down, waving their front paws and singing high and strain like the star-spangled banners upper notes on the land of the free. So high, who can reach them? Jersey Girl, CNN blazes blocks of buildings shredded by Russian missiles, only steel arches standing, smoke snaking across rubble like sci-fi disaster movies, watching bombs light my country on fire from our East Orange condo. My past six-year plan looks like vain, blonde ambition. From Kiev to my J-1 au pair visa, job, fast found marriage, green card, naturalization, also nursing school. Now I witness Kharkov apartment balconies spew children's sleds and skates across bomb sky onto chart ground. From safe America, I see this. New friends text crowd my phones, add emojis, and we're with you. No, whispers my gut, you cannot be. My family there has no heat or food through freezing nuts. Putin's mortars explode, teen flesh fleeing Mariupol. Maternity hospitals also where dark crowns push vulvas as mother's breasts tear open, blood flowing like milk. Do Americans want points when they swarm my screen with Zelensky's a effing rock star? What should I say to that? Yo, oh, yeah, he's our homeboy. But when Kate McKinnon opened SNL with the Ukrainian chorus Demka of New York, Sunflowers clustered in tall glass beside girls in Vizhavanka dresses, singing prayer for Ukraine, burning votives spelling Kiev. It felt like church. Not since a child had I knelt, formed a cross on my chest, prayed to darkness.